look at what happened to this. So I will right click, commit, and then I will choose this one. I will save, save my blueprint, and notice what happens that all my instance blueprints are automatically updated with my new meshes. So if you want to create a big world, but you are afraid that it can take a lot of time, in this video, I will show you the secret that allows you to create super big worlds very fast. Um, it's called Level Instance Blueprint. So I have this level and I want to populate it a little bit. And I have all these assets that, you know, if I want to make it a little bit bigger, I can just go here, rotate this, put it in place. But, you know, this takes a lot of time. So the way we're going to solve this is that we're going to create a level instance pack blueprint. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to select all my meshes. And this will be my new blueprint that I can use. So I can right click and then create from selection. And I will have a few options. I can choose a level instance, a pack level instance, and a pack level instance blueprint. I will choose this one, pack level instance blueprint. And then I will choose the center min C. This means that the pivot point will be at the center in the minimum C axis. Okay. Now that I have this, I will click OK. And now I will choose a name for my new map. This will create a map and I will call it Mass Cliff 01. And then it will create a blueprint with the prefix BPP Mass Cliff 01. So I will just click Save. And now look what happened here is that now I have a blueprint that I can use. Now, if I check here my assets, you can see that I have a blueprint. And if I open this, you will see that I have several actors here and they are instance meshes. What this means is that if I go here to my instances, you will see that I have all my instances here in the right position. Okay, and I don't have to do any work. So what I can do now, very easy. I can just duplicate the blueprint and continue to decorate my level. I can do something like this. And I can continue to do this to create something that I would like. Very easy. Okay. So what happens? What if you want to update this blueprint? Well, it's very easy. Let's just say I want to do some modifications. I want to make this one look better. Well, you can right click and click edit and then click the BPP mask Cliff 01, which is the one we created. And now you will notice that all my instances turn out great. And now we can update this. For example, we can do this one higher if we want. We can do this one lower. We can actually create other assets such as, let's just say we want to put some of this here. Let's wait a little bit for load. Okay, so I can put it here. I can rotate it. I can put something like this. And I can actually duplicate this one and put it here. And, you know, I can have a lot of creativity with this. So let's say this is my new asset. Look at what happened to this. So I will right click, commit, and then I will choose this one. I will save, save my blueprint. And notice what happens that all my instance blueprints are automatically updated with my new meshes. That's really powerful. So there are several ways you can edit this. You can either edit this or you can open a level here and if i click here in my mass cliff one which is the one i created you will see i have a level so if i want to put more things like i want to scale this one and then put another one here and do something like this later what i can do is to actually save this level okay then i will go to my previous level and notice that nothing, is, nothing has changed and the reason is I haven't updated the blueprint so if I right click edit 
and then click on this one. Then I will discard. What I can do is actually update pack blueprint, save selected, and now you have all my instances have been updated. And this is the same way I created this one. I can edit this blueprint. We can duplicate this one, make it higher, put it like this. We can commit, save the blueprints, and now all my blueprints have been updated with my new mesh. And this is the way you create your levels extremely fast. And you can now play here and move around. And now you can, if you want to do any changes, you just need to edit the blueprint. And this is the fastest way to create levels inside Unreal 5. You cannot do this in Unreal Engine 4. You need to do this in Unreal Engine 5. So if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, comment in the section below which kind of video you will like to see next. And if you need some help, check the links in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.